Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to share an essential bag collection that I have. Uh, I collect only what like you know I really need that till I don't really kiss out that bag. I don't discard it and only when I discard one bag do I buy another one. So I have a very fixed collection of essential bags and so I think just like my channel says a girl just like you it's for every girl like me uh, who would need this essential bag. Now these are quite old and it's going to be very difficult to link them below or any of the, those things but I'm going to try to mention where I got them and how I got uh, inexpensive bags and which are my favorite places to shop bags and all of that so yeah I'm gonna share all of that if you're interested to know all of this then please keep on watching also if you have not already subscribed to my channel please please make sure that you do if you're watching my videos and you've not subscribed or if you're new here any of that scenario just hit that big red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and also if you find this video relatable share it with your friends and let's make this family bigger because that's the only motivation and support I have uh, for coming back and doing this. Okay, so keeping that aside, let's dive into my bag collection. Okay, so I'm going to start with like a smaller handbags and a slings and fanny pack collection. I'm going to start with my personal favorite, the first one. Uh, this one is from Accessorize. Uh, it is a very basic, classic nude clutch. Uh, I got this like around three years back and it's still very intact. It's a nice patent leather. I maintain my bags very well. I keep them like these handbags, I keep them in drawers and all the other bags that I'm going to show you, the bigger ones, I keep it in a closet. So yeah, I use my bags for a really, really long time. Uh, it's very classy and internally like this, uh, it has a button over here and in, inside there's like one zip and the chain situation. So mostly I use it as a clutch and don't really use it as a a sling situation but I can I sometimes do uh, switch it up it was expensive it's a 2000 rupee clutch it looks very basic but it's also a very classic clutch so it goes with so many outfits whenever I can't like think of what I need to take with my outfit I take this clutch with me and Accessorize gives you good quality bags I love their bags that's one of my favorite places to shop bags it's Accessorize and that too in sale I do not buy without sale so yeah, this is my first favorite piece, a nude classic clutch. My second favorite is this uh, guy right here. Now this I got from Max Fashions um, uh, and Max is also another place. I love shopping for affordable bags. Oh my god, you guys, they have amazing uh, affordable bags. Every time I go there, I pick up one bag for sure because I love the variety they give you at the price they give you i got this for 400 bucks and i love the material it has very nice gold detailing right here there's a zip and internally there's a uh, strap which goes inside behind in these loops and then you can use it as a fanny pack so that's what i've been doing most i've been using it as a belt bag so it looks damn classy very cute and then on my more dressier occasion when i need a black bag they've also given this uh belt to go with it this strap to go with it which is like gold chain over your very good quality so once again this is like a classic piece you need to own and on sale i got it for 400 bucks max fashion is something you really need to keep in mind if you don't shop from there also you should check it out only for their bags okay so the next piece i want to mention is my newest obsession and that is this amazing tan clutch from Aldo. This is actually um, a sling situation only but you can of course use it just like this and then they have three straps that came with this bag. So internally you can like open this part and there are like two zips so it's pretty spacious inside and internally there were like three straps to this. So there's this one regular strap which is just like a plain tan long handle which can go cross body or it can just go on one side so mostly like if I can't think of anything I just use this strap but my favorite strap that came with this is this amazing Aztec print strap I love this one I've been using it the most like wearing very simple outfits and then just putting this strap 
uh, as a crossbody, it looks so good. I love this shirt. It's my favorite one. It has a lot of detailing. It's completely woven. Like the thread work is completely woven. It's a broad one. So like on white t-shirts and stuff, it looks very cute. Uh, so this is my favorite strap that came with it. And then there's one more strap that came with it, which is this cute, uh, very short belt. Uh, this is like supposed to go for like just like a gold detailing like you can just hold it as a wrist bag not really take it on your shoulder or anything just hold it as a wrist bag it looks very chic for when you want to go for dinners or like fancy parties so this one bag is so multi-purpose and since that I got it I actually got it from Aldo South Africa because my sister got it for me and so I don't know how much this is for yes, so this is another color you should keep in mind like black tan and nude these colors if you have in your smaller clutch for your cross bodies or your slings you're good to go okay diving into tote bags and like bigger cross body bags i have this amazing cloth bag uh, which has this beautiful uh, peach and blue aztec print going on it has only one zip and internally it's lined uh, of course this is not waterproof because it's cloth it's pretty spacious inside and for my like I have this again since school time so like on my half days and stuff I used to take this bag this is also from max fashions like I said they have good quality stuff so this is a very like you know running errands sort of situation bag like put saman leme jana hai ya kuch bhi nahi hai just a water bottle and some biscuit packet you want to put in your bag so that kind of a situation on a very casual chill day so a cloth bag is also a very essential must have in your bag collection Next one I have is a bigger crossbody version. So this is a lovely uh, blue and white sailor print. Not sailor print but like the sailor navy vibes that it gives me. And a lot of tan detailing happening with the straps and everything. Uh, it has two buttons over here and then just one compartment to put your stuff. This is what I've been carrying the most on my half days to college right now when I have to carry nothing and just like um, a bottle of water and like my phone and your phones and all the very basic essentials it is a long strap handle so you can take it on one side or you can take it as a crossbody I picked it up at the little flea a year back actually so I don't know which store exactly I got it from but uh, once again like for somebody who's more younger like a teenage or even moms nowadays love like my mom loves carrying this anybody who likes a crossbody doesn't like just a toad situation you can either get this or get this you don't need both now since i'm not working working i still go to college and i have books and tiffin and water bottle and all of that stuff i don't carry half like purses a lot so i don't have any purses in my collection my collection is limited to more of backpacks but there's just one purse that i have this purse a very sturdy and nice black purse which would go with everything so a very classic black purse from accessorize without any sale on it so i got it for 4000 bucks but since it's very spacious inside like there's a big compartment that still has my wallet in it which is tattered and shabby and i'm ashamed to show my wallet on camera like a press button situation here and then there are two zips also which are very very spacious what i love about this bag is that uh, when I have to carry my laptop, I can very easily do it in this bag. So a lot of stuff goes inside this. So one black purse according to me is like an essential in any uh, person's collection, in any girl's collection. Okay, so now all this was just like the very uh, fancy stuff which I use very rarely and hence have since so many years. But the main collection I have is of backpacks because I'm obsessed with backpacks especially the small cute ones I love those those I could really hold if I had that kind of money I would hold the small cute uh, backpacks that you get because I love like it's very convenient to just like throw your stuff in a backpack and like take it on both your shoulders it's awesome. starting with this very basic black bag that has this uh, floral print going on on it and these tan details this is also super super old and a little worn out because i've used it a lot so you can see like it's a little worn out on the straps inside like this press button opens and it has this situation going on i don't know what this mechanism is exactly called uh, and it's pretty pretty spacious from inside just has one compartment not so much can go inside this bag uh, and i don't know from where exactly this is it has no label or tag on it uh, i'm sure it's not branded but i bought it as a gift my friend has gifted this to me it also has a small zip 
pouch over here. Black and tan is an amazing combination for when you can't think of anything to go with your outfit. There's another one in that same dory situation. Is this um, cloth bag which is an Aztec print. Once again very old from my school days and uh, it ha it's like of course washed out because I've washed it a lot. It also has this tan detailing like the upper portion is tan over here and it has uh, this hook over here and then it opens or under again this dory thing that I said and the same compartment situation which was in the previous bag and the zip which was in the previous bag. So it's pretty similar, pretty identical to the previous bag. Like I said, these were very, very much in trend back in the day. And of course, nothing has gone out of trend. Uh, you can still keep using those things. So that's why I still have it. Very convenient for travel, like a train travel, flight travel, you know, very basic essentials. My vlogging camera, my uh, phone chargers, all of this can fit over here. And I can just take it on my back and roll with it. So I prefer these bags any day. I got it from Max. It was very affordable, 600, 700 something. Uh, I don't know if, of course, it won't be still there, the same bag. But like I said, please do check out Max. So this one's pretty new to my collection. This material is waterproof. It is different. But um, the inside, since it's like has these openings, of course, you can't carry it in the reins. Um, this is also the same mechanism. It has this black details over here. And this one's from Accessorize, but it was actually a gift to me. So I don't know exactly how much it is. It opens and it has this one compartment inside, which is enclosed by the same mechanism as the other two bags. And then there is one zip situation here like this pocket and then also the side pocket so lately i've been carrying this a lot on my travels since again this is a very nice color olive green goes with a lot of outfits uh and i love the quality of this bag of course accessorize has good quality bags so if you don't mind spending a little much on your bags you should definitely check out accessorize bags Okay, so now for the zipper backpack, the first one I have over here is this lovely tan bag. It says Michael Kors over here, but in no way is this original Michael Kors. It's not. I got this on my trip to China. We picked it up from the Chinese markets, which of course are the first copy markets. It's so identical to the first copy that you will not believe at the airport I have the exact same bag and we were going through duty free and the guy at duty free was asking me where you got this from and like they had the exact color exact pattern everything right from the details on the zip are identical so the china ka first copy man is like solid first copy and it's very good quality i went to china like three years back so it's still very sturdy and with me it has two zips over here the only disadvantage is that it's a little stiff so you feel like it's big so it will store a lot but it doesn't. Also I don't really promote first copy. I prefer, if I don't mind street shopping or sasta shopping. I love to do that but if it's like from a recognized place or even if it's from the street, it need not be a first copy. It can, it can be labelless. Just like another bag I will show you which I picked up from China. We picked up two. So this is, but this was since this was so identical I love the color and Michael Kors is something that's duped so much in China, not even funny. So that's the reason I got it. This is the only piece I think I own of first copy of some really bougie brand. Someday hopefully I can get like the original Michael Kors but till then it's the kaam chala lenge. I love this bag and I use it quite a lot because it goes with so many outfits and it's very trendy. It's cute, it's compact, it looks good with like when you're going out for lunches and stuff as well and you can also use it for college. The other bag that I was talking about that I got from China, this small black uh, backpack, the exact same pattern, but this is not a first copy of any brand, it's simply a black backpack. So it's such a label-less thing I really like to pick up, which is uh, from the streets and I don't mind doing street shopping, but it's not copying some big ass brand, you know, you don't have to pretend to be something you're not. So uh, this is very very cute, it has very good quality straps, I love the straps on this because they are very broad and the material is very good, it doesn't like poke, like the other bags if you've noticed have thinner straps, so this since it has more broad straps it does the weight distribution well uh, and it has a lot of compartments here, here, inside one zip and then there's another zip and this is very spacious, it's not stiff like the Michael Kors one. So it's very spacious. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it's very heavy since it has so many zips and the back version is only so much that after you store so many things, it gets even heavier. But it's a very sturdy bag. 
and once again because it's black I love traveling with this I always carry this on my travel because it will go with any outfit when even when I have nothing to go with any of my outfits this will go with every outfit okay so now we are diving into the very final section uh, which is the school bag variant so if any college girls watch me who have a lot of books to carry the way I do I don't carry books as much as I carry dabba in my bag but that's okay uh, my first college bag which I came into KM and bought was this one from Bycraft it's I think still available uh, it has a lot of zips that's why I got it good quality straps and I've had this since 4 years it's not ripped apart from anywhere and it's very lightweight one more thing you should keep in mind when you're getting a college bag is that it's lightweight because your stuff is going to be very heavy so you don't want to add up to the weight that you're carrying on your shoulders and this is from Wildcraft, Wildcraft is another place if you're looking for like trekking bags, college bags they have really really good quality stuff you can of course go to other brands also but I don't know why I always gravitate so much towards Adidas and my current backpack also I'm using is from the same company uh, I love love this blue colour I saw it in South Africa it's very heavy because it's full of my college stuff it has one zip where I keep all my books and notes and then the other zip is like my apron, my tappa, all of that but it's super heavy, very spacious and I got it from Adidas South Africa so I cannot link it. If it's on the website, I will. Uh, this was also on discounts. So I got it for 1500 So sports things you should buy from factory outlets or on discounts. But these are the places I recommend you buy it from. Okay, you guys. I'm through and through with my entire bag collection. I'm so tired. This was huge. I need to edit this video and try to make it short. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed and got a lot of tips from where to shop from, what kind of bags are essential, what are not really. and. I hope you liked my collection. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And also a little disclaimer I want to give you all is in no way was this to um, show off. Like I'm not even trying to show off. I have a very basic collection. This was only for fun if you just want to watch it for fun or for a little information from where you can get your bags and what you should buy and what you shouldn't. So don't take it in a negative way and come at me in the comment section please. I will see you in my next video next Sunday. Till then please don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon. Bye guys. Love you all.